Hello, welcome to the PARS Health TV channel. We hope you're having a good day and you are happy and healthy. In this channel, we give you tips to keep you healthy and out of trouble. In this video, we want to talk about the nervous system and everything you need to know, brain, spinal cord, vertebrae. This video is for educational purposes only and if you have any specific condition or illness, you should consult with your doctor. The nervous system is the most complex and highly organized body system. It receives information from the sensory organs via nerves, transmits the information through the spinal cord, and processes it in the brain. The nervous system directs our body's reactions to the world and also controls most of our internal functions, everything from muscle movement and blood vessel dilation to the learning of anatomy and physiology facts. How does it manage all this? By sending lightning quick signals, electrical and chemical, between cells. The nervous system is a complex network of nerves and cells that carry messages to and from the brain and spinal cord to various parts of the body. The nervous system includes both, the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system is made up of the brain and spinal cord, and the peripheral nervous system is made up of the somatic and the autonomic nervous systems. If you like topics like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to see daily videos just like this one. Alright, let's get started. The Central Nervous System CNS. The central nervous system is divided into two major parts, the brain and the spinal cord. The brain. The brain lies within the skull and is shaped like a mushroom. The brain consists of four principal parts. The brain stems. The cerebrum. The cerebellum. The diencephalon. The brain weighs approximately 1.3 to 1.4 kilograms. It has nerve cells called the neurons and supporting cells called the glia. There are two types of matter in the brain, gray matter and white matter. Gray matter receives and stores impulses. Cell bodies of neurons and neuroglia are in gray matter. White matter in the brain carries impulses to and from gray matter. It consists of nerve fibers, accents. The brain stem. The brain stem is also known as the medulla oblongata. It is located between the pons and the spinal cord and is only about one inch long. The cerebrum. The cerebrum forms the bulk of the brain and is supported on the brain stem. The cerebrum is divided into two hemispheres. Each hemisphere controls the activities of the side of the body opposite that hemisphere. The hemispheres are further divided into four lobes. Frontal lobe. Temporal lobes. Parietal lobe. Occipital lobe. The cerebellum. This is located behind and below the cerebrum. The diencephalon. The diencephalon includes the thalamus and hypothalamus. The thalamus is where sensory and other impulses go and coalesce. The hypothalamus is a smaller part of the diencephalon. Other parts of the brain. Other parts of the brain include the midbrain and the pons. The midbrain provides conduction pathways to and from higher and lower centers. The pons acts as a pathway to higher structures. It contains conduction pathways between the medulla and higher brain centers. The spinal cord. The spinal cord is a long tube-like structure that extends from the brain. The spinal cord is composed of a series of 31 segments. A pair of spinal nerves come out of each segment. The spinal cord region from which a pair of spinal nerves originates is called the spinal segment. Both motor and sensory nerves are located in the spinal cord. The spinal cord is about 43 centimeters long in adult women and 45 centimeters long in adult men and weighs about 35 to 40 grams. It lies within the vertebral column, the collection of bones, backbone, other parts of the central nervous system. The meninges are three layers of membranes that cover the brain and the spinal cord. The outermost layer is the dura mater. The middle layer is the arachnoid, and the innermost layer is the pia mater. The meninges offer protection to the brain and the spinal cord by acting as a barrier against bacteria and other microorganisms. The cerebrospinal fluid, CSF, circulates the brain and spinal cord. It protects and nourishes the brain and spinal cord. Neurons The neuron is the basic unit in the nervous system. It is a specialized conductor cell that receives and transmits electrochemical nerve impulses. A typical neuron has a cell body and long arms that conduct impulses from one body part to another. There are three different parts of the neuron. Cell body Dendrites Axon The cell body of a neuron the cell body is like any other cell with a nucleus or control center. Dendrites. 
the cell body has several highly branched, thick extensions that appear like cables and are called dendrites. The exception is a sensory neuron that has a single, long dendrite instead of many dendrites. Motor neurons have multiple thick dendrites. The dendrite's function is to carry a nerve impulse into the cell body. Axon An axon is a long, thin process that carries impulses away from the cell body to another neuron or tissue. There is usually only one axon per neuron. Myelin sheath The neuron is covered with the myelin sheath or Schwann cells. These are white segmented covering around axons and dendrites of many peripheral neurons. The covering is continuous along the axons or dendrites except at the point of termination in the nodes of Ranvier. The neurolemma is the layer of Schwann cells with a nucleus. Its function is to allow damaged nerves to regenerate. Nerves in the brain and spinal cord do not have a neurolemma and cannot recover when damaged. Types of neuron Neurons in the body can be classified according to structure and function. According to structure, neurons may be multipolar neurons, bipolar neurons, and unipolar neurons. Multipolar neurons have one axon and several dendrites. These are common in the brain and spinal cord. Bipolar neurons have one axon and one dendrite. These are seen in the eye's retina, the inner ear, and the olfactory, smell, area. Unipolar neurons have one process extending from the cell body. The one process divides with one part acting as an axon and functioning as a dendrite. These are seen in the spinal cord. The nervous system is a complex collection of nerves and specialized cells known as neurons that transmit signals between different parts of the body. It is essentially the body's electrical wiring. The nervous system transmits signals between the brain and the rest of the body, including internal organs. In this way, the nervous system's activity controls the ability to move, breathe, see, think, and more. The nervous system is the major controlling, regulatory, and communicating system in the body. It is the center of all mental activity including thought, learning, and memory. Together with the endocrine system, the nervous system is responsible for regulating and maintaining homeostasis. Through its receptors, the nervous system keeps us in touch with our environment, both external and internal. Like other systems in the body, the nervous system is composed of organs, principally the brain, spinal cord, nerves, and ganglia. These, in turn, consist of various tissues, including nerve, blood, and connective tissue. Together these carry out the complex activities of the nervous system. We'll explain more about the nervous system in the next video. If you are interested in videos like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.